Hey, my name's Gary Twin. I uh, was the lead singer with Supernaut. You still are the lead singer. I still am the lead singer with Supernaut. Okay. The first gig I ever went to on my own was to see T-Rex in, oh gosh, when was that? That was in the early 70s, I guess. Before that, when I was a little kid, my dad took me to see um, the Beatles walking into the um, opening of Help, I think it was. So I sort of didn't see them play. And my mum took me to see Cliff Richard and the Shadows uh, at the London Palladium, which was awesome. Still like Cliff and the Shadows. The first record I actually purchased myself was, um, I want to say, Get Back. Um, before that, I'd always managed to get my dad to buy them for me. And the first record I actually owned, there were three, my auntie bought them for me. There was I Feel Fine by the Beatles, Little Red Rooster by the Rolling Stones, and I Could Easily Fall by Cliff and the Shadows. <laughs> the last record I actually bought was Brian Ferry's new album. It's called Dylan-esque, and it's uh, just a bunch of covers of Bob Dylan. The last gig I went to um, was a guy called Richard Hawley, who's uh, from um, the north of England. He's great. I really think he's an awesome singer, great songwriter. And uh, that same week, I saw Bob Dylan with uh, Mel Haggard opening up for him. That was a so that was a good week of gigs. My favourite gigs I ever saw were the Clash. Definitely, I saw the Clash many times, and. Uh, they were always great. Strangely enough, uh, I used to often go and buy the, the tapes down at the market, you know, the day after you could get the bootlegs and it never quite sounded as good as it did when you were there, you know, that it was really much about the atmosphere, a great band. It definitely would be London Calling by The Clash. Yeah. And why that particular record? Because of those memories? It's just. That has that album for me has everything on it. It's a like rock and roll. There's a little bit of like rockabilly. There's reggae. There's uh, kind of jazzy stuff. It's just a great all-round album. Yeah, brilliantly produced. Really, really great songs. To do a duet with somebody, I really, really like to sing with uh, Emmy Lou Harris because she just makes everybody sound great. You know, she just has the most perfect voice for backing vocals and you know I've got to say for an older lady she's not bad looking either maybe uh, maybe like the old Graham Parsons version of Love Hurts that would be cool and of course we could also do Jackson I'm a bit of a country fan you know so uh, Jackson would be a fun one to do with her